Alrighty, we are at Harold's Ice Cream with um, Mayor David Norkowitz of Northampton. And um, Mayor, uh, can you give us a little bit of the scoop on uh, what uh, the event is for today and what it's all about? Well, uh, today apparently is National Eat Breakfast for Ice Cream Day. So what better place to be in Northampton than in Harold's, uh, world famous Harold's Ice Cream. And today uh, they are serving a special breakfast menu um, and it's actually a benefit. It's a fundraiser for Whole Children, which is uh, located in, Had in Hadley and uh, is, a, is a great local nonprofit that provides uh, a, a range of uh, educational and recreational and other types of programming uh, for children, um, toddler through teen of all abilities. It's a, it's a great local organization. And they invited me to be, I guess, a celebrity scooper so uh, I'm kind of reliving my youth. I used to scoop ice cream when I was a kid. I haven't done it in a while, uh, at least at this level. So uh, I'm happy to be here. It's a fun event. And, and who can be against eating ice cream for breakfast? And uh, do you have a favorite ice cream by any chance? You know, I, I, um, I, I, I love, uh, actually, they have a lot of great flavors here. I kind of like the simpler ones. I love coffee. I love the burnt sugar. It's kind of a, a really cool one, or the malted vanilla. Um, but I think for breakfast, maybe a coffee or an espresso would be good. <laughs> Just thank you uh, to uh, Judy and Steve uh, for inviting me to participate and happy to be here to help support whole children. We are with Judy Harold, owner of Harold's Ice Cream on 8 Old South Street of Northampton. And uh, good morning and good day there, Judy. How are you doing today? We're good. Everything is great. So, uh, what is the scoop on uh, today's event, and uh, what are your thoughts about today's event? Okay, we're, this is National Eat Ice Cream for Breakfast Day. It was thought up in 1966 by Florence Rappaport in Rochester, New York. And over the years, it's become an event where you open and have breakfast, ice cream for breakfast for charity. And we chose this year's a recipient uh, to be Whole Children, which is a wonderful, inclusive organization for children of all abilities. They have after-school classes, and they're just a wonderful, wonderful group. And I highly recommend it. This event, uh, National Ice Cream for Breakfast Day, is a yearly event. It takes place on February 7th, and we do it for a different company every year. Um, but we will, we are planning to do other fundraising events and other special events just to, you know, have some fun in the winter because let's be real, people don't eat a lot of ice cream in the snow. But um, we just like to give back to the community as much as we possibly can and we'd like to invite people to join us in the fun. Uh, what is uh, your favorite ice cream? My favorite ice cream is root beer. Um, our founder, Steve Harrell's favorite ice cream is vanilla. He's a purist. Retired, but not forgotten. Any last comments that you have that you would like to say to everybody out there? Um, yeah, it was wonderful for whole children to be here. It's also wonderful to have our guest celebrity scooper, David Narkowitz. Um, we're really enjoying having him struggle with scooping ice cream. Whole Children started 10 years ago by a group of mothers who all had uh, children with disabilities, various disabilities, uh, autism, Down syndrome, Williams syndrome. They were looking for a place that was welcoming and accepting of their children, where their kids could come and take a class and, uh, you know, a class that would be taught in a way that worked for them. Um, we started a little tiny building in Hadley um, in 2004, and we served that year about 27 kids. And since then, we've moved to a, a much larger building in Hadley, and we have served 800 children in our classes. We have, we have classes six days a week. They're after school. All kids are welcome. Uh, any kind of ability, disability, no disability, doesn't matter to us. We have performing arts classes. We have a theater uh, class. 
a rock and roll band. We have a, a wonderful chorus that all these perform in the community. Um, and we have a lot of physical activities like um, kung fu and gymnastics, uh, yoga, dance, all kinds of stuff. Whole Children has been wildly successful because we really know how to teach a class so that it works for every kid who comes. Um, that is a very expensive proposition. Um, so, and we can't possibly charge what it takes uh, to, to you know, have enough teachers. So we do a lot of fundraising to make up the difference so that parents don't have to pay you know, that exorbitant price just to have a welcoming uh, class for their child. So we really depend on fundraising. We really, really appreciate the community's support. Aiden, I don't you. And um, yeah, actually I do have a, a, a screen. Good. I have chocolate with Oreos topping, so. We win the whole children, so the public will play is over. Moms and dads are taking kids to the to the whole children, and the class would be um basketball basketball class, professor band, they are for hockey and soccer. So we uh, did classes in that class, and we um did. Uh, we love the I love whole children that much, and we have bunch of friends there. We have Kate, Alex, Modi, Ethan, William, and and we have Kay O'Reilly. And she's here with us today, and uh, she's getting ice cream also. So, and we have a good, good thing. I'm Joyce Page. I'm the outreach coordinator for Whole Children in Hadley. It's a wonderful program. We're here today as the beneficiary of the donations that Harold's will be uh, giving to us today after uh, this wonderful ice cream breakfast day. Whole Children is a great organization. As a grandmother, I so enjoy seeing the children come and take the classes. They enjoy themselves. There's social, social skills that happen in each class, so it's a wonderful way for children to interact with each other and the world. It's a fabulous place. Please check us out, www.wholechildren.org. Thank you. I would love to give a scoop on today's event. You know, Thorns is one of the participants in today's ice cream benefit for whole children. And, you know, it makes me incredibly happy to be able to participate in these types of events. Our Thorns merchants are some of the most generous folks in the community. And this is just another example of how they go the extra mile to try to help those nonprofits that they feel so strongly about. Well, I must say that today my favorite ice cream is crumb cake. It's a new ice cream that they put out just for this breakfast special today. So I've had crumb cake inside a cup of coffee with whipped cream on top and it was delicious. What do you think about having ice cream for breakfast? I love it. Yeah.